welcome back to our channel. I am Indian Sibling. Today we're gonna solve part three of solving the whole three by three Rubik's Cube. If you're new to my channel, please kindly subscribe. I have made the video where I shared you how to solve the first and second layer. Now let's begin solving the last part. Let's go. As you can see, our second and first layer has been solved. Now let's solve our third layer. Now in order to solve your third layer, you have to flip your cube around. You can see the center of our top layer is yellow. So of course the, the, the surface has to be yellow. Now we, our first step of solving the third layer is to make a cross of yellow with, with the, the colors aligned on the center middle. Now, in order to solve this, you need to, if you have the spot, you can hold it in any direction. And your cube can be in one of three states. You can have a reverse L, you can have a horizontal line, or you can already have a plus as you get lucky. The most important thing of solving the third layer is your position. We to solve the cross with the center piece aligned is F R U R U F. F R U are clockwise and R U F is anti-clockwise. Now let's do it. So if you have a if you have a center piece, you can hold it in any direction. You can do that algorithm like right now. As you can see, I've applied the formula once and I have got the reverse L. You can hold it like this. Now let's apply that formula once again. As you can see, now we have the horizontal line, which would come out something like this. Now you have to hold the horizontal line. If it's like horizontal, you cannot keep it vertical. As you can see, our yellow cross is now finished. And our middle pieces are now aligned too. Step is to get the right corner. And by that, I mean looking at the sides of the color of yellow and then matching it with this. Like for example, I have a yellow, green, and orange. We have a green and orange here. So that corner is right. Now let's look for another one. We got a red, green and yellow. We have a green and red, red and green over here. Now we have a blue, red, blue, red. Now we have an orange, orange and blue, orange and blue. Guys, I got lucky that I actually got all the four corners right. So I'm going to show you the algorithm to get the right corners in the right place. Now we're on our final step to orient the corners. Getting the right corners, we would be on the last step orienting the corners. Now, in order to solve this, we have two algorithms. One for the right and one for the left. You do the right one first and then the left. They are feast solved like this. You have to face the ones that are not solved on your right. Now, first you have to do the right, then you have to do the left together. As you can see, now I have one over here and one over there. I would keep this this way, so one of my still not solved pieces would be on the right. Now, we have two that this way. We can put it on the right and do the algorithm once again. Our Rubik's Cube is now solved. 